Let's talk about Desmond Ritter and the Atlanta Falcons. They come up big against the Green Bay Packers. They win a very close game against the Green Bay Packers. And you may be saying to yourself, they got lucky and a lot of things didn't go their way. If you pay close attention to this game, if you watch this game, the referees are terrible on both sides, but especially towards the Atlanta Falcons. In the third quarter, Desmond Ritter had a good red zone ball straight to Mac Hollins. And he toe-tapped in the end zone. They said that his heels touched the white, but his toes did not. That was a touchdown, but they wiped that away. That ended up being a field goal for this team. They did go back and score a touchdown with Desmond Ritter. Later in the game, again, Desmond Ritter's running. It was a first down. They go back and say it's fourth and inches. They do a toss play to B. John Robinson. They get the first down anyway, and that's what set them up for the game-winning field goal in this game. This was a very good game, regardless of the referees' mishaps and all those things. Desmond Ritter showed later in the game that he is the right quarterback for this team right now. I'm not going to come on here and say that he's the next Patrick Mahomes, he's the next Joe Burrow, but he looks solid. He's not losing his team any games. Today he did throw his first career interception. He's a very safe quarterback. He's going to take what the defense gives him, and they're going to run the football home. A very good game plan today by Arthur Smith, and I have to give him a lot of credit because they could have easily lost this game. They were down in this game until the fourth quarter. It was a lot of things that did not go the Falcons way in this game and he looked very good Arthur Smith on the sideline and also Desmond Ritter as well Desmond Ritter came out 19 to 32 237 passing yards one touchdown one interception and the offensive line played way better than they played last week only one sack allowed today and he did get pressured a few times but this is going against a very good Green Bay Packers front seven, and they controlled them very well. They ran the football on the Packers a lot in this game. B. John Robinson had 19 carries for 124 rushing yards. Tyler Algier had 16 carries for 48 rushing yards. And you also look at Desmond Ritter. He didn't just only pass for a touchdown. He also rushed for a touchdown day as well. He had 10 carries, 39 yards, so he was able to show his mobility in today's game. Now, they're still having problems giving Cal Pitts the football. He only had two catches for 15 yards. But Drake London showed up today after having a bad game last week with zero reception, zero yards. Today, Drake London has six catches, 67 yards, one touchdown. And Mac Hollins also made a good impression on this team today as well. Three catches for 60 yards. This is very good for this team. They are still young offensively and they're figuring things out. The offense is going to be very good, and they're in good hands with Arthur Smith. He can develop quarterbacks. I expect for Desmond Ritter to get better in each and every game, but this run game right now is legit. They may have one of the best one-two punches in the NFL with Tyler Algier and B. John Robinson. Now, the defense stepped up big today. I know you look at Jordan Love on the stat sheet. He had three passing touchdowns. He only got sacked once. The defense didn't do a good job. They did a very good job against the wide receivers today because that's – Desmond Ritter was the quarterback that had 237 passing yards. Jordan Love only had 151 passing yards. And they found a way to make some plays late in the game. Caden Ellis had a big play late in the game that went for a sack and pushed his team all the way back and basically essentially clinched the game for the Atlanta Falcons. They played very good football again today. And I'm looking at guys like A.J. Terrell who had two pass deflections today. They're making some good moves. Trey Flowers had a good game today at the cornerback position as well. And Jesse Bates continues to be really the best player on this defense. He had the two interceptions last week. He made some key plays in today's game as well. Lorenzo Carter makes some plays coming off the edge today. I like what they're doing. And David Onyemata made some good plays as well. This defense from last year to this year is very telling what they've added. They've added a lot of veterans that's been around the NFL for quite some time. And they were able to go out and make some clutch plays today. I like the way this Falcons team is playing. I'm not saying they're going to go out there and be a Super Bowl contender. But they're going to be a favorite in this division to win this division right now. I like what the Falcons are doing. If Desmond Ritter can continue to pace on continuing to get better each and every game, they continue to run the football, they're going to be in a good situation. Because one thing about this Falcons team that any that no other team can do in this division just yet, they can run the football with the best of them. And that's something that you're going to need late in the season as you approach those playoffs. So they continue to just play this old school type of football, get physical up front, and just work off a of play action and get the ball to these key targets like Kyle Pitts, like Drake London, like Mac Hollins. You're going to be in a good situation. And I do think when Cordell Patterson is fully healthy and when he's ready to come back to this roster, they're going to be in another good situation as well because that's the extra piece that you can add at the wide receiver position in the backfield, 
and punt return and kick return. So when this team is fully healthy, they're going to be one of those scary teams to watch. But let me know in the comment section below how do you feel about Desmond Ritter and the Atlanta Falcons moving forward. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, want each and every last one, guys, stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Peace.